After they are properly trained, they will join our legion. You said not all my people would be military. There are children, those not suited. And one day I'm sure they will all be productive citizens of the Imperium when their debts are paid. Yeah, the... <laughs> I'd say this almost sounds like borderline invasion, in a way. Well, let's try to talk this out, I guess. If you're leading the mages now, then let's talk. I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. It is always a pleasure to meet a reasonable man. Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that at all. Alright, let's talk. Lucifer. Felix, would you send for a scribe, please? Pardon my manners. My son Felix, Frey. What's up, Felix? I am not surprised you're here. Containing the breach is not a feat that many could even attempt. There is no telling how many mages would be needed for such an endeavor. Ambitious indeed. Huh. Does that mean you'll lend your mages to our cause? There will have to be. What the hell happened? Felix. My lord, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Are you all right? I'm fine, father. Come, I'll get your powders. Please excuse me, friends. We will have to continue this another time. Um... Fiona, I require your assistance back at the castle. I don't mean to trouble everyone. What the hell's going on? I shall send word to the Inquisition. We will conclude this business at a later date. Okay. Yeah, that's good skeptical eyes. Come to the Chantry. You are in danger. Hmm. The note is unsigned. The boy feared his father might retrieve it. We'll be careful, but we need to figure out what's going on here. We all did. Who's this? Clements? Magister Alexius does not approve of those without magic like you and me. You may not wish to stay long. Many villagers have already left to escape his ire. What does the Magister have against you? He does not like to be reminded of what mages can become. He says all Tranquil must leave Redcliffe, but who would take us in? You're one of the Tranquil? Yes, my talent for magic was insufficient to protect me from demons. Rather than risk me becoming possessed, the Circle removed my connection to the Fade. My magic is gone, along with my dreams and desires. Those now in Redcliffe prefer not to see us. How long have De Vinters been here? Magister Alexius arrived at nightfall, two days after we retreated from the Temple of Sacred Ashes. He forced anyone without magic out of the castle, save those he required to serve him. Even the Arl was sent away. Hmm. Farewell, then. One moment. Hmm? You are a member of the Inquisition, are you not? Yep. I am an alchemist. You must require potions. If the Magister will not have me here, perhaps I can offer my services. Of course. We would be delighted to have you working for the Inquisition. Thank you. While one lives, it is good to believe there is still a use for one's talents. Cool. Crows and the Queen Med Medcrow? Yeah, so even more so from what that Tranquil just said, um, way too timely um, when the breach happened to this bastard showing up. Inquisition, huh? I wish to Holy Andraste you'd gotten here sooner. Me too. These Tavinters make my shoulder blades itch. That's a uh, interesting. Thing? Who are you? Name's Talwyn, formerly of the Circle of Magi in Hosburgh. Lived my whole life there, since I was ten years old and came into my magic. Three 
three meals a day, quality education, a roof over my head. If you're not summoning demons, a mage tower is a fine place to be. If you were happy in the circle, why are you here with the rebels? We're all rebels now. The vote saw to that. The majority wanted to dissolve the circles. The rest of us went with them and were cut loose. I figured I'm better off with my fellow mages than on my own. Yeah, strength in numbers. You're not happy with this new alliance? Something's not right about that lot. They're not like us. Magic or no, I'd rather count myself among decent folk than stand with Magisters. How did the Grand Enchanter end up working with Tavintin? One minute, we were bracing for the Templars to attack. The next, we had a Magister ally. It was a stroke of luck that's given us an edge. In a way. Out of the frying pan. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Be careful. The Tavintas likely aren't happy you're asking questions. Yeah, well, tough shit for them. What is that? The word statue. We'll make good use of it. Oh, okay. Or oh, immature. The amulet of that. Oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. What else we got here? Whoop! That was a note. Hold on. Was it? Never mind. Sears in the Allsmet. Allsmeet. Holy hell. And this is pretty sketchy to say the least, I think. Just everything going on and Tavinter's weird. Okay, there's something. Ah, fuck it. Oh wait. Was there something in this room? Out of the way, guys. Yeah, it's a roaring no. Huh. Oh, that was him. Let's see if there's anyone else in here to talk to before we leave. Because I'd hate to miss out on anyone like that uh, Tranquil. Come on, guys, move. Damn it. False door. Move. Oh. Yeah, what's going on? Inquisition's just Templars by another name. Um, talk to the back. Who are you? Linnea. Just Linnea. Don't ask what Circle Tower I'm from, because we're done with that. We're all free mages now. You'd rather bow to Devinter than join the Inquisition? All you Chantry types think the same way. The Imperium is a great evil that must be avoided. It's just because they're ruled by mages. No one wants us to look at them and say their mages are free and the world hasn't ended. So don't magisters summon demons and practice human sacrifice? The Chantry says whatever they think will scare us. What's wrong with blood magic? People don't like the idea of us controlling their thoughts, but they have no problem with us throwing fireballs in their walls. In Tevinter, the mages police themselves. It works. Well, yeah, of course we don't have a problem with people throwing fireballs, because guess what? You're not controlling someone else's will. I'm here because I believe mages deserve their freedom. Right. And I'm the Empress of Olay. <gasps> Are you? Oh my god! You're a tall bitch! <laughs> okay, well, let's see if we can't check out the Chantry. Huh. And this whole situation is not good. It's not as directly obvious, I suppose, at first, but um, definitely, you know, something's still pretty messed up here. Oh my God, with the guy who's looking like Satan, how could I not be right? I don't know. This just seems like. I mean, did Alistair seriously approve of Tevinter 
people coming here and essentially taking our people? Is that, I don't know. Because it's not like Redcliffe is on the outskirts of Ferelden, it's... It's like in the center almost. Well, let me save real quick before... It's auto-saving, that's why. I'm gonna save game. Wait, 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 wait. Reverend Mother That. Let's save real quick. Actually, no, let me save over this one. There we go. Just in case. They say Andraste sent you to save the world. If it'll help save lives and bring peace, I'll be the first to believe. <laughs> Wait, you should doubtful? That doesn't make sense. I'm trying. I hope I don't disappoint. <sighs> I hope so too. Are you working for the Mage Rebellion? Mages are children of the Maker, no less than the rest of us. They struggle no less with questions of faith. Does that mean you support their freedom? Given a choice between the Circle and death, most mages willingly gave up some small freedoms for safety. But the pendulum swings, and now it seems any restraint is too much. I think they should have a chance to prove they deserve freedom. I don't see any other priests in the village. Where is everybody? The Magister had the others escorted out for their own safety, but I refused. He can throw me out if he wants. Until then, I tend to my flock. What are your feelings on the mages working with Tevinta? The Imperium burned on Draste. Since then, we have led four exalted marches against them. Yet in all those marches, they still acknowledged the Maker. Now I speak of him and the Magister's laugh. Something has happened and I dread to learn what. I will leave you to your duties. Make a speed you, my child. Right. What do we got over here? Sister... Uh, I'm Sister Tanner. May I help yeah, you? actually. Are you a Chantry sister? A lay sister only. I work here to help the poor and extend the Maker's kindness to those who need it. It is very busy work. Especially in these times, but let me know if I can ever help. Well, actually... I found the letter you sent a Templar named Corrin. What? Shit! You can't prove anything. A letter from a rogue Templar. Nobody is going to care. So... What do you intend to do? What kind of cut are you getting from the gross? What kind of protection are your suppliers offering? The Inquisition could use someone who can move goods around quietly. And we could protect you. Are you serious? The high and mighty Inquisition needs smugglers. All right, I'm in. Seems like the Inquisition is the safer bet these days. Hey, yeah, cool. That went a lot smoother than I thought. Figured we were gonna scare her off or something, but nope. Make peace instead. It's a nice sight. I like that. Is that supposed to be the castle? My god. It's miles away. The chantry is pretty far away now, too. Holy hell, that's a nice looking chantry. Alright, well, let's figure out what's going on here. Let's see, let us see. Spirits and demons. Bruh. Yeah, everyone thinks blood magic is blood magic's cool and hip right until it goes into action then. And then you see it's true wars. Stupid 
novice mages. What the fuck? Good. You're finally here. Now help me close this, would you? Dude, I love your mustache. Okay. Boom. Got him, guys. You got him. What the hell is going on? Why is there a rift in here of all places? God damn it. No, I want him. You. Damn it. I remember that I've got another skill. Power! <sighs> okay. Fascinating. How does that work exactly? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't even know, do nope. you? You just wiggle your fingers and boom. Rift closes. Close enough. Who are you? Ah, getting ahead of myself again, I see. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of Minrathus. How do you do? Watch yourself. The pretty ones are always the worst. <laughs> Suspicious friends you have here. Magister Alexius was once my mentor, so my assistance should be valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine. Okay. I was expecting Felix to be here. I'm sure he's on his way. He was to give you the note, then meet us here after ditching his father. Okay. Alexius couldn't jump to Felix's side fast enough when he pretended to be faint. Is something wrong with him? He's had some lingering illness for months. Felix is an only child, and Alexius is being a mother hen, most likely. Hmm. Are you a magister? All right, let's say this once. I'm a mage from Tevinter, but not a member of the Magisterium. I know Southerners use the terms interchangeably, but that only makes you sound like barbarians. You're betraying your mentor because... Alexius was my mentor. Meaning he's not any longer, not for some time. Look, you must know there's danger. That should be obvious even without the note. Let's start with Alexius claiming the allegiance of the mage rebels out from under you. As if by magic, yes? Which is exactly right. To reach Redcliffe, before the Inquisition, Alexius distorted time itself. How? What? What? He arranged it so he could arrive here just after the Divine died. You catch on quick. That is fascinating, if true, and almost certainly dangerous. The rift you closed here. You saw how it twisted time around itself, sped some things up and slowed others down. Oh, that's what they meant. Soon, there will be more like it, and they'll appear further and further away from Redcliffe. Hmm. The magic Alexius is using is wildly unstable, and it's unraveling the world. No, I trust him. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. I know what I'm talking about. I helped develop this magic. With the mustache? When I was still his apprentice, it was pure theory. Alexius could never get it to work. What I don't understand is why he's doing it. Ripping time to shreds just to gain a few hundred lackeys? He didn't do it for them. Felix? Took you long enough. Is he getting suspicious? No, but I shouldn't have played the illness card. I thought he'd be fussing over me all day. My father's joined a cult to Vinter Supremacists. They call themselves Venatori. And I can tell you one thing. Whatever he's done for them, he's done it to get to you. Alexius is your father. Why are you working against him? For the same reason Dorian works against him. I love my father, and I love my country. But this? Cults? Time magic? What he's doing now is madness. For his own sake, you have to stop him. It would also be nice if he didn't rip a hole in time. Yeah. There's already a hole in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
Why would he rearrange time and indenture the Mage Rebellion just to get to me? They're obsessed with you, but I don't know why. Perhaps because you survived the Temple of Sacred Ashes. You can close the rifts. Uh, maybe there's a connection. Will they see you as a threat? If the Venatori are behind those rifts or the breach in the sky, they're even worse than I thought. Do you have any suggestions? You know you're his target. Expecting the trap is the first step in turning it to your advantage. I can't stay in Redcliffe. Alexius doesn't know I'm here, and I want to keep it that way for now. But whenever you're ready to deal with him, I want to be there. I'll be in touch. Oh, and Felix, try not to get yourself killed. There are worse things than dying, Dorian. Hmm. Interesting characters, indeed. Hmm. Magi... Right here. Tibian Bleeder... Boy, they changed up the look of um, the cha Chantry. I keep wanting to say Chantry <laughs> for some reason. Changed this up a lot, too. Don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a good change, just, it's funny coming off of Origins and then this. <sighs> huh. Very, very interesting. Very. Time magic. If there's one thing I hate, it's people fucking with time. But the only time I let people get away with it is for good movies, like, uh, God, Back to the Future. Or some good games, sort of like Singularity, which is a game I'll be playing on the channel sometime. I don't know when, but I definitely want to play it. I think it's a great game. Ah, oh, God, time magic. Everything. Seriously, I think of all kinds of magic. Why can't I think of just good, good magic? Sex magic! Gotta admit. I wasn't expecting to find so many Vints here. Didn't they rule everything before? Maybe they just want everything back. Well, let me see. Before we actually do head off... Um, let's see. A common treatment. Oh, no. Okay, so she just moved. That's all. I do want to see if I can't find... Oh. The Ballad of Lord Woolsley. And Spirit in the Lake. Cool. Both those are pretty close. Alright. I want to check these two out before we set anything off in emotion. <sighs> yeah. Hmm. Very, very interesting. Spirit of Valor, though, that's interesting. Don't really know what to think of that either, if it's true. Yeah, it could be a spirit, it could be a demon. Valroyo, huh? I remember the first time I visited it, some 30 years ago. Let me save real fast, just in case this is a terrible, terrible turnout. Market was not half as large. Without the garish statues, and far fewer stands selling those ridiculous, frilly little cakes. The Valroyo market was once nothing but tents of oiled leather and mud, filled with ragged humans, selling strings of beads made of bone. You saw this in the Fade? Yes. I left that memory quickly. The smell. <laughs> Must have been ages ago. Oh, yes. It's much better now. I enjoy the frilly cakes. <laughs> Well, let's see what happens. What the fuck? What the fuck? I got a sword. Warlord great sword. What the hell? Oh. 
What does that count as a duel? Of course it does. Where is Iron Bull? Damn! <sighs> Too bad. Damn! Felt like King Arthur there for a moment. Wicked. Alright, so... Which one am I going to? Actually, he should be right behind me here. Where the... King Wooly! Probably I'm calling out for the guy from the best friends. Wait, is that him? No. Where the hell? Should be here. Is that him? Wait! Wait! Lord Woolsey, I presume? A uh, young man named Jimmy would very much like you to return home. Ah, good. Um... Is that seriously all I had to do? Like, seriously? Not that... Pinch of ones. Yep. Very cool, very cool. Hmm. Just want to check out these super easy ones. Mm -mm -mm. Glad I didn't try to attack the damn thing. Sure, that one invented well. I don't know if the game would have let you attack it either. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Okay, so let's see here. Looks like it is. Alrighty. There you go, lady. I said I could read the thing. I want to read it. Just give me that option. Damn it, game! Text on Cena's shrine. Uh, Cena, beloved, may your ashes be gathered by Falundin and carried safely. After all the long years, you carried me. Oh. That's nice. that one. Uh, do we have anything else that's extraordinary? I don't think so. Okay, well, let's just jump back to Redcliffe again. Turn in these quests. Uh, I want to hear more about this stupid ram. There must be something here. Uh, well, yeah, but I can't get in there, so. A little bit on the pointless side right now. Calm down, six cents. Good day. I do not suppose you've found my center shrine. I know it is a long way to go. No, not really. I clean Senna's shrine and place the flowers. May her ashes be gathered by Fallon Dean and carried safely. After all the long years she carried me. Thank you. You do a foolish old man too much kindness. Thank you, friend. May your Inquisition do as much good for the land as you have done for me. Oh, cool. That's why I like doing those things. Gives people some happiness. It's a feel good. Alright, weirdo. Talk to me about this ram that gives you advice. He came back. He says you convinced him. Here, for all your trouble. Um, what would I get? Thank you so much. It's so good to have Lord Wolseley back. 